Hi, I'm August Bryce from techwellness.com where we talk about living mindful in our digital world. And part of being mindful is being aware of the invisible energy that comes from all of our wireless devices. It's called electromagnetic radiation and it has been proven by scientists to have biological effects. I've got a list of symptoms and links to research on the effects on my website, but I can tell you that I am sensitive to the EMF and I've learned through the years that the best thing that I can do is distance myself. And scientists have shown us that the waves actually dissipate and decrease the further you get from them. But of course, putting distance between you and the phone isn't always practical. That's why a lot of manufacturers have come up with shielding phone cases that portend to protect you by putting a shield between the cell phone radiation and you. So we went and bought a bunch of cases we're gonna to demonstrate to you that sometimes the energy that comes even from a phone with a case on it, one of these shielding cases, still has way too much exposure. So which one do I use? Well, let me demonstrate. So this is the phone. It's engaged, we're measuring max level. That flashing bar shows you that something's going on. Okay, now let's take this phone that's still engaged and put it in one of these cases. The cases use reflecting, interfering, and or absorbing technology that could work, as the manufacturers say, in a perfect situation, like a lab setting with a controlled signal generator and just taking readings from the front of the case maybe. But I'm demonstrating the cases in a real world setting, detecting radio frequency signals from all sides of the case because if you're worried about electromagnetic radiation, you need to know what's happening when you hold the phone in your hand. Look at the readings with all the cases, even though some measure less than the 6.2 of the phone without a case, the reduction really isn't significant enough. Sometimes the reading is even higher. I'm using the same phone engaged in a call in the same location. It's important to point out that even in the same location, signal strength can vary. I'm using a TES meter on the max setting. And that shows maximum measured value. Personally, I would not want to be exposed to RF signal this high. Really, we should limit our exposure to less than 0.5 microwatts per centimeter squared. Even less than 0.1 would be awesome, because as the Environmental Health Trust points out, research has not yet identified a safe level of wireless radiation. At Tech Wellness, we always say the less wireless energy you're exposed to, the better. So to answer that question I posed, which case do I use? Well, I don't because they provide a false sense of security. Think of it this way. If you're gonna have a signal and you're gonna use your phone, there's going to be electromagnetic radiation. That's just how it works. And if you wanna decrease that radiation, you can turn off Wi-Fi, you can turn off Bluetooth, you can decrease the phone's functionality and that will help. Also, you need a strong signal. But the best thing to do is what I talked about earlier, distance yourself from your phone. Let me show you how this works, it's great. Okay, I'm starting at about 10 inches from my phone. The reading is under five. Now it's not about the exact measurement. The point of this demonstration is to show you how the energy increases as you get closer to the phone. Usually it'll be about 15 times higher than it was 10 inches away, so let's watch. Let's watch the wave register. Oh, wow. One more thing about cell phone case shielding. It's not just me who's concerned. Both the FTC and the FCC have issued statements saying that the shielding that's used in those cases can sometimes increase the amount of electromagnetic radiation that you're exposed to. So I'm gonna put links to both of those statements on my site. And speaking of my site, please come visit. There's so much great information there. I'm August Bryce, be well.